Coral, by Sophia de Mello Brainer Anderson is a profound meditation on nature, existence, and the interconnectedness of all life. The poem, with its vivid imagery and lyrical quality, reflects the poet's deep reverence for the natural world and her belief in its intrinsic value. Through her exploration of coral, Anderson delves into themes of beauty, fragility, and the passage of time, crafting a work that resonates with both environmental and existential significance. The poem begins by evoking the coral's vivid and intricate beauty, highlighting its delicate structure and the vibrant ecosystem it supports. Anderson's descriptions are rich with sensory details, bringing to life the colors, textures, and forms of the coral reef. This attention to detail not only emphasizes the coral's aesthetic appeal but also underscores its complexity and the delicate balance that sustains it. The coral, in Anderson's portrayal, becomes a symbol of the intricate interdependence of all living things, a microcosm of the larger natural world. As the poem progresses, the coral's fragility becomes more apparent. Anderson subtly shifts the focus from the coral's beauty to its vulnerability, hinting at the threats posed by human activity and environmental degradation. The coral's delicate structure, which once seemed a testament to nature's ingenuity, now appears fragile, at risk of being destroyed. This shift in tone reflects a broader concern with the impact of human actions on the environment, a theme that runs throughout Anderson's work. The coral, in this context, becomes a poignant reminder of the fragility of the natural world and the need for its preservation. Anderson also explores the theme of time in Coral, using the coral reef as a metaphor for the passage of time and the inevitability of change. The coral, which takes centuries to grow and develop, is a living record of the passage of time, each layer representing a different era in its history. This slow, gradual growth stands in stark contrast to the rapid changes brought about by human intervention, highlighting the tension between natural processes and human activity. The coral's long lifespan and its gradual, almost imperceptible growth also serve as a reminder of the enduring nature of the natural world, even in the face of destruction and decay. In the closing lines of the poem, Anderson returns to the coral's beauty, but now with a deeper understanding of its significance. The coral is no longer just a beautiful object to be admired, it is a symbol of the interconnectedness of all life, reminder of the delicate balance that sustains the natural world. The poem ends on a note of reverence and awe, acknowledging both the beauty and fragility of the coral, and by extension, the natural world. Coral can be seen as a reflection of Anderson's broader concerns with nature and the environment. Throughout her work, Anderson often grapples with the relationship between humanity and the natural world, exploring the ways in which human actions impact the environment and the consequences of those actions for future generations. In Coral, these themes are brought to the forefront, with the coral reef serving as a powerful symbol of both the beauty and fragility of the natural world. The poem also touches on existential themes, exploring the idea of interconnectedness and the ways in which all life is intertwined. The coral reef, with its complex ecosystem and intricate structure, becomes a metaphor for the interconnectedness of all living things, reminder that humanity is just one part of a larger, more complex web of life. This theme of interconnectedness is central to Anderson's work, reflecting her belief in the importance of living in harmony with the natural world. In Coral, Sophia de Mello Brainer Anderson has created a work that is both beautiful and thought-provoking, a meditation on nature, time, and the interconnectedness of all life. Through her vivid imagery and lyrical language, Anderson captures the beauty and fragility of the coral reef, while also exploring deeper themes of environmentalism and existentialism. The poem stands as a testament to Anderson's deep reverence for the natural world and her belief in its intrinsic value, a belief that continues to resonate with readers today.